What's up guys, in honor of reaching 250,000 subscribers, I present to you my day in the life as a college YouTuber. Now this has been heavily requested as well as my full day of eating, which I do plan on recording soon. But I find it funny because people seem to think I have some crazy awesome life and I'm just drowning in money and girls and fame. And that just couldn't be further from the truth. In reality, I'm just a lonely college student who sits in his room all day, making videos, watching anime, and occasionally studying for school. But that's besides the point because tomorrow is gonna be an absolutely huge day. I've got a ton of things to do with some really fun stuff planned out to hopefully make this video as entertaining as possible. I'll give you guys more of the details tomorrow morning, but as for now, I gotta get some sleep because I gotta wake up at 7.30 a.m. So I hope you enjoy the video and let's start the day off strong. It is 8.02. I have about 20 minutes until I have to go catch the bus. This is looking absolutely delicious right now. I actually can't wait to dig in. So yeah, we got two classes, one at 8.55, then the other one at 10.05. We're done at 11.30. And then we're gonna hit the gym. Leg day today, brutal leg day. I'm gonna try and go for 3.05 on squat for a four by eight. I have a haircut scheduled at three. And I know a lot of people are gonna say, oh, you need to grow your hair out. I get that on TikTok literally all the time. And yes, I know my hair did look good when it was long. I actually really, really liked it. But the thing is, I like it when it's short and I like it when it's long. But in between, I just, I can't stand it. It's the awkward phase. And I literally just can't get past the awkward phase. And it's just so annoying. It's either I like it short, I like it long, no in between, and I'm just not dealing with it. And I just realized I've been looking at myself in the camera instead of actually looking at the camera. I guess it's good that I noticed that early before making the entire video like this. But anyway, I also have to go grocery shopping. I gotta get a few things. And then after I go grocery shopping, after my haircut, we can go play soccer. And then I got some work to do. So yeah, this is gonna be a really busy day, actually. But really, my days really only consist of me waking up, making breakfast, going to class, going to the gym, then coming back and just doing work. And then just watching anime. That's pretty much it. But I scheduled some stuff just so that like, that wouldn't happen. This oatmeal is slapping right now. And the only bad thing is because it's like 8.08 right now, I don't actually work out until after my classes. And my last class ends at 11.30. Then I have to walk to the gym, which takes about five minutes. And I don't actually start my workout till like 11.45. So this pre-workout meal is nearly four hours before I actually work out. And that's not really ideal. But the oatmeal is done. That was really good. All right, guys, I just finished up my only two classes for the day. It is absolutely freezing out, but it turned out to be a really nice day. I mean, it's pretty sunny. I'm headed to the gym now. About to absolutely destroy my legs. So yeah, let's get after it.
And that is a wrap. 305 for nine in the books for an absolutely brutal leg day. I probably could have pushed for 10, but I'm still super happy with how it felt. I also ended up skipping cabs because there were three guys on the machine when I wanted to use it. And I didn't want to be that guy to go and ask to work in when there were already three people on the machine. So yeah, I'll just use that as my excuse. But I've got about two minutes until the bus comes. So I should probably pick up the pace because I don't want to miss this haircut. So I have about a half hour before I have to go get my haircut. And I also have to clean my room and do my laundry. But this should be a perfect time to show you guys the sponsor of this video. And that is none other than Routine. Routine is a personalized micronutrient subscription service that sends you 30 packs of vitamins each month specifically tailored to your needs. Now you might be wondering how exactly do they know what I need? Well this this is how. Basically, you fill out a really quick survey online answering some really easy questions about like your physical fitness, your health, your nutrition, and they send you a DNA test and a blood test. Although all I have is the DNA test because per New York state guidelines, you're not allowed to ship blood tests within the state or something like that. But once you use them, you package them up, send them back so they can create your own custom micronutrient vitamins specific to your goals, your genetics, what you eat, what you don't eat, pretty much everything you need. It's a great way to make sure you're optimizing your diet as opposed to just taking a generic multivitamin, which may not even be what you actually need. It's all really safe, really secure. They don't share your information and you also have access to your own personal dashboard on the website. But anyway, if you wanna know more about this or if you wanna try it for yourself, I'll leave all the links down in the description. So I actually planned on using this for the video, but but then I found out you're actually supposed to take the samples in the morning. So uh, yeah, let's just go get this haircut. haircut is complete. This is what we're looking like right now. We've got some time until we go grocery shopping. We've got some grilled chicken here with some sesame teriyaki sauce. We've got an absolutely massive bowl of fruit. I cut up a pear, an apple, and a kiwi, and I actually kept the skin on the kiwi. I'm like one of the only people I know who actually eats the kiwi with the skin, and everyone always makes fun of me for it, but it's not bad for you. It's totally edible, and it tastes good. I think the texture is actually good. But yeah, I gotta start eating this so I don't waste any time. Now, an interesting story about my haircut, actually. I've only been to a barber three times in my entire life. The first time I went to a barber was when I was like six or seven. Up until that point, my mom had always cut my hair just because she knows how to cut hair. But for some reason, I just wanted to get a haircut at a barber shop. I went to a place called Snippets and I had always cut my hair long until that point. I just wanted to trim and they just buzzed my head entirely. It was just awful. It was just a terrible experience. And as like a little six-year-old kid, I was just so pissed. So for the next like 12 years, I just had my mom cut my hair. But when I finally decided to chop off the long hair that you've seen in many of my YouTube videos, that was actually my first haircut since the snippets experience. But yeah, that haircut actually turned out to be a really nice haircut and I had asked for a taper fade and he pretty much did exactly what I had asked for. So I went again today and I assumed he would remember me and know what I wanted, but he didn't. And when I went in, he asked what I wanted. So I just told him to like fade me up on the back, fade me up on the sides. And I didn't specify what kind of fade. So he didn't give me a taper. He just gave me like a normal fade as you can see. I don't think it looks bad, but it's just not exactly what I wanted. And that's not like his fault at all. He did a really nice job. I'm just an idiot and I didn't ask for what I wanted. The only thing different is just the edge up. I got edged up on both sides. I think last time when I asked for the taper, I only got edged up on this side and this side was more like straight on. Now there's like a little bit of a gap here. So I can't wear my hair like messy like this or else it just kind of looks funny because it's just like a gap. I mean, should I really eat this? Probably not, but what are you going to do? This chicken is definitely a little bit dry, but... No, sesame teriyaki is carrying. Recently, actually, I've been watching Hunter Hunter, which is an anime for any of you who don't know. I actually really like anime. My favorite anime of all time would probably be, I would say Attack on Titan. That show is just so good. And before any of you try and spoil the ending for me in the comments, you can't because I read the manga. I know what happens in season four, chapter two. So you can't spoil anything for me. And a lot of people just didn't like the ending at all. Although I was kind of neutral. I thought it was a fine ending. It wasn't anything spectacular, but I thought it was okay. A close second would probably be Death Note. That was the first anime I watched. And it's what actually got me into anime in the first place. I watched it in like high school. So like three, four years ago. Naruto is really good. I think Naruto is actually better than Shippuden. I really like Shippuden, but I think just the regular Naruto is just so good. But number three, I'm going to have to go with Code Geass. If anyone has seen Code Geass, you'll know how good it is. Oh, wait, I really like Demon Slayer too, though. And then we got Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh man, this list is fun. I'll have to sit down and actually rank them. I can't just think of them off the top of my head and trying to rank them because it's just not going to work. Last bite of the fruit. Why do my arms look absolutely massive right now? Like I can assure you they're not this big. But now that lunch is done, I have absolutely no time to spare. So let's go hit the store. <laughs>
What a day. What exactly did I get, you're asking? I got a double chicken burrito. A lot of people get the burrito bowl, but I am more of a burrito fan myself. This is a double chicken, brown rice, black beans, sour cream, fajita veggies, cheese. Am I missing anything? Sometimes I'll get guac as well, but you know, <sighs> times are tough out here. You know, I gotta eat this burrito. Why am I talking so much? And usually when I eat dinner, I'll throw on like an episode of anime or a Mr. Beast video. I've actually been really obsessed with watching Mr. Beast lately. But I had a really big test in one of my classes, exercise science. That class is impossible. You would think it's an easy class, right? You know, these are your biceps, these are your delts, this is how you do a bicep curl, this is a bench press. You know, simple stuff, right? Wrong. I had to memorize like the structure of the heart, the muscle fiber, the posterior muscles, the anterior muscles. And I also needed to know the blood flow as well. Blood comes in through the superior and inferior vena cava, into the right atrium, down to the right ventricle, in through the pulmonary valve, out to the lungs, through the pulmonary artery, back into the pulmonary veins, to the left atrium, down to the left ventricle, blah, 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 this and that. And it was just an absolute nightmare, but I... What was that? But I think I did really well on the test actually, because um, I studied a lot for it. But anyway, w where am I even going with this? Whenever I get a burrito, my sour cream is always on one side. And I know they do that because they wrap it around. But yeah, it's been a pretty busy day today. See, I told you, the sour cream, it's all filled right there. Quick tip, whenever you're eating Chipotle, always have a plate on handy with a fork so that you can pick up all the leftovers and eat them. This is literally just pure sour cream and tomatoes right here. Like, this is just going to taste absolutely delicious. I was correct. Chipotle really just never disappoints. It is just always top tier. But as for now, I still have to put away my laundry and clean my room. After that, I'll probably show you guys a little room tour. But yeah, let's actually clean this room. This is not gonna be fun. All right guys, so the room is now absolutely spotless other than the floor, which I just haven't vacuumed yet and I don't plan on doing so. But anyway, let's give you guys a little bit of a room tour. I already talked about the setup a little bit, but we've got the blue snowball here with the headset. Obviously we've got the PC with the dual monitor. We've got the Naruto poster above looking absolutely sick. We've got the shoes underneath the bed. Not too much going on underneath the bed actually. I've got an ab mat that I use for my ab workouts. I've got a pull up bar that I pretty much only use for L sits. But we've got all these shoes. The only ones I wear pretty much are these black ones right here we've got the hamper that i just emptied put some stuff in there that was dirty we've got the nice clean bed with the two pillows that i just changed their pillowcases for we've got the fridge with a fan and a lamp obviously in the fridge right here i'm not sure why it's obvious we've got tuna fish which is stinking up this whole room whenever i open this fridge it just reeks of tuna we've got some carrots one greek yogurt left the rest of them i keep downstairs and then we've got some water right here some spillage going on right there hopefully that's not the two maybe that's why it reeks but that's enough of the fridge over here we have the dresser all of my toiletries on top we got some deodorant, some cologne, acne scar cream, some cleanser, my toothbrush, toothpaste. Underneath in these drawers, we've got some towels, washcloths, pillowcases, and I even stuck these pants in here just because I don't have enough hangers for them, so I had to throw those in there. Over in here, we've got the underwear, masks, socks, and this beanie. This drawer down here are shorts, absolutely filled to the brim i have so many shorts it is unbelievable and then the rest of my clothes are hanging up right here we've got some pants some more joggers from young la some tanks some shirts some hoodies some sweatshirts some jeans back there down underneath here we've got the young la bag some wegmans bags that i use for shopping here's some of my school stuff we've got my soccer cleats in the young la bag right there we've got some food in here then up here is where it gets good we've got some protein some nuts i say some nuts that's five containers of nuts i am an absolute menace when it comes to munching on nuts. Then we've got some peanut butter, some Clorox wipes, and yeah, that's pretty much it in the closet. On this little dresser is where I keep my water and my shaker. I've got my school bag right here and my gym bag underneath. And then we've got the mirror right here. Oh, and I forgot to mention the Young LA hat. Here's the Young LA hat, which I threw in the dryer on accident and it got kind of wrecked because I'm a dumb person. But that pretty much wraps up the room tour. I don't think I'm going to have any time to do school work or any more work in general. So I'm probably just going to go wash my face, get ready for bed, and then wrap up this video. So yeah, let's get to it. That feels good. But that is the end of the day in the life as a college YouTuber. So now you see why I only upload every two weeks. One last huge thank you for 250,000 subscribers. That is an absolutely unreal achievement. By the time I upload this video, I'll probably be way past that number, but thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to this channel, watched one of my videos, left a like, left a comment, anything like that. This channel's growth has been absolutely insane. It's all thanks to you guys. You're really making my dreams come true. But let me know if you guys wanna see more content like this. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.